Clay Purview. Watch Speedway live or on demand. And SRV Road Freight Services. Excellence in motion. Bring you Speedway Nation with Jared Ash and Ryan Harris. Right across the SEM network. I won at Mill Vegas this weekend. Tim is Speedway down in Mildura. Looking forward to that one as well. I'm going to be on Clay Purview the entire time. We're going to have wingless sprints. We're going to have production stands, Australian late medal title, and plenty on this weekend, but 50-plus nominations for national production sedan title. The defending champion, Kyle Sayer, he's making the trip across from Western Australia, one of three West Aussies making the trip all the mm. way to the East Coast. Uh, well, Mildura probably, I don't know whether Kyle's been around Mildura before, but it's, it can be a bit of a beast to get your head around sometimes when you roll in there the first time. Uh, if anyone's going to defend their title, probably is going to be Kyle Sayer. He's been so impressive in Western Australia this season again. Grown another leg since he's put that Australia one on the door, Ryan. Yeah, he has. He will be uh, super good around there. I, I, I think it's going to be a really exciting, um, exciting, exciting uh, event. To be honest, um, I know when they had the Victorian title, it was Chris Blyton the one? He won there, didn't he? Yeah. In the Victorian, he mm-hmm. beat Joel um, in the Victorian title a couple of seasons ago. Everyone went down there and went, well, "This place is going to race exactly like Toowoomba because it's wide, it's banked, and it races nothing like Toowoomba." Yeah. <laughs> It's wide banked fast. Toowoomba's wide banked fast. They race nothing alike. Race completely different. Mm-hmm. Um, and and Blyton on that occasion was outstanding. He blew the doors off Joel Berkeley down there. Now, Joel will be impressive. I've got no question about that. Chris Pagel, um, he has got to be close to winning a title. <laughs> he has been so unlucky in so many titles, and he is as good as anyone in the production sedan division. He's been outstanding in the modified sedan this year, and he jumps in to the, the proddy down there and will be electric around Mildura. We, the place where his father won the 1998 Australian modified production title, title back then. There you go. Oh, is that, oh. There's a little twist. There's some. There, look, there's a little bit of poetry, a little bit of a storyline heading to the place where his father won. Well, you look at the racing that Chris Pagel and Joel Berkeley have done this season. Both been racing two divisions up in Queensland. Both been doing a little bit of travelling as well. So mm-hmm. they're going to come in very race fit, the pair of them. Both been racing modified stands. Mm. Both been racing production stands. They're coming down from Queensland. Strong strong field coming down from Queensland. Ten Queenslanders in there. Jaden Healy from New South Wales. Been very impressive so far this season. Trevor Mills. Quasi-Victorian New South Wales <laughs> car. Former national champion, of course. He won that mm. back at Wangaratta back in the day. Oh, no, sorry, we're going you back in the day. I got excited for a second there. Stephen Laidlaw, former national champion. He's in the field. Of course, you mentioned Chris Blyton, who won that Victorian title there. Strong field of contenders there. But I'm just, I got I got a buzz about the 26 Victorians in the field. There was three or four yeah. Victorian production stands four or five years ago. Where'd they all come from? Yeah, the class is on the up, isn't it? It's a phenomenal class. It's a great concept. The tyres, the radial tyres, if anyone's listening to this that cares... The tyres are the equaliser. Leave them alone. They're fantastic. Don't go down a race rubber path ever. Just keep them on the street tyres, on the trailer tyres, t- trailer tyres, Jared, because I, the the class is on a massive upward trajectory. The national title after this year is at High Tech Alls Toowoomba Speedway. There will be 100, 110, 120 production sedans at Toowoomba, I'd reckon. It will be absolutely the biggest one anyone's ever seen. And the class will just continue continue to go nuts. Well, particularly if the street stock division migrates or morphs to Camrys and Magnas into a front wheel drive sort of predicament, um, there may be a lot of cars that may go to start to go into the production sedan route. And I know there's people in Tasmania that are keen to see production sedans happen in Tasmania as well. So now we're in a funny little spot with that. We've spoken recently about modified sedan regulations, whether some of those drivers look to go, hey, we're going to start to fall back into a production sedan category, whether some of those modified sedan drivers go, hey, we're going to look to run a super sedan. We can run a super sedan for the same budget with a much Mm. more reliable crate engine. So we're in a funny spot where maybe there's some shuffling around. Like you said, the street stock guys might look to migrate towards production sedans. I think production sedans as a whole, which have been very strong in Western Australia, very strong in Queensland since adopting the national categories. Mm very strong in northern New South Wales, it might be about to blossom around the country. I think so, mate. I think you are on to something right there. <laughs> uh, just interestingly, uh, New South Wales champion, three times New South Wales champion, Jordan Biviana, not in the field. Sad to see him not going down there. He recently won a third New South Wales yeah, title on, around the, there. on the trot. So congrats to Jordan on taking that out at Narrabri, the New South Wales title. But that's uh, Speedway Nation done and dusted for this season. It's bye for now. And we might be back. <laughs> 
Hopefully. So hopefully. We'll be back soon. A big... This is SEN Speedway Nation for Clay Purview. Watch Speedway live or on demand. And SRV Road Freight Services. Excellence in motion.